Ladies and gentlemen, a huge bombshell has just been released that exposes everything. We've known all along how corrupt the Biden family is, but now we've got leaked messages that show the truth, the facts, and the information of how bad the corruption was. And people, I think this could be the end of Joe Biden, and now he has absolutely no chance of winning in 2024. That is fairly, if you know what I mean. But okay, what exactly was leaked? What details in there were so damning for Joe Biden and Hunter Biden? Well, everyone, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm sitting here. This is Hunter Biden. Uh, I'm sitting here with my father, and we would like to understand why the committee, uh, why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Tell the director that I'd like to resolve this now before it gets out of hand and now means tonight this is absolutely crazy everyone hunter biden is clearly here in a business meeting with his father he's saying i've got my daddy big big daddy next to me if you don't do what i want i'm gonna get daddy onto you but he's warning he's threatening here if you don't do what i say well some very very powerful people will be coming after you and z if I get a call or text from anyone involved in this other than you, Zhang, or the chairman, I will make certain that between the man sitting next to me and every person he knows and my ability to forever hold a grudge that you will regret not following my direction. I am sitting here waiting for the call with my father wow what a big tough businessman he's threatening here if you do not follow my direction there'll be consequences from big papa but no he's not a tough businessman really at the core he's just a spoiled rotten kid that has a father with connections but guess what people the impossible what nobody thought would happen is now happening the mainstream media is actually asking tough questions for the democrat u.s press secretary watch this next clip she becomes very very uncomfortable but they do not let up they just keep on slamming her again and again um the president invited his son hunter to the state dinner last night um, i'm wondering if you could take us into the thinking decision making of why uh, the president decided to invite I, i'm just not going to get into family discussion personal family discussion as you know, Hunter is his son. I'm just not going to get into it. If Hunter Biden wasn't the president's son, would he have invited someone who had just reached a plea agreement with federal prosecutors? Well, two a, couple, days a couple of things. Again, that's his son. It's a, he's a family member. It is not uncommon for family members and uh, events at the White House. You could look at past presidents. I'm sure you have. So that is not uncommon. Uh, as it relates to anything uh, uh, related to, to Hunter, I'm... People, maybe I'm wrong here, but isn't the one job of the U.S. press secretary is to answer the press questions. But it seems like Corrine hasn't given an honest answer one day of her job. And it gets even worse than that. If she can't make up a lie, she just won't answer the question at all. Can I follow up on that? Okay. No, I just called in somebody. Go ahead. So Kirby wouldn't answer James's question, though. Are you going to answer the question? Not a reasonable question to ask with the President of the United States was involved, as this message seems to suggest, in some sort of a coercive conversation for business dealings by a son. Is that something, if he wasn't, then maybe you should tell us. So that. here's the thing, I, and I appreciate the question. I believe my colleague uh, at the White House Council uh, has answered this question already, has dealt with this, uh, made it very clear. I just don't have anything to share outside of my, what my colleagues have shared, uh, and so I would refer you to him, and just not going to comment from here. Now, normally the mainstream media in the past would have stopped now, they would have let up, but no, they keep asking her again and again, and she gets more and more uncomfortable. My colleague, is there anything that you can say with regard to this text message and what the president's son was alleging? Was the president there or not? I would refer you to my colleagues at the White House Council. They have addressed this, and I refer you to them. So, people, it's been revealed for the world to see. We now know that the corruption of Hunter Biden and Joe Biden is real. But why is nothing being done about it in Congress or the White House? Or why is the FBI and CIA not investigating Hunter Biden and Joe Biden like they would with Donald Trump? This clearly shows you that there's corruption and bias throughout the whole US government now. It has been completely overrun. Everybody from both sides of the political party can be bought. There was that leaked footage from James O'Keefe when he was uh, questioning someone from BlackRock or going undercover and asking someone from BlackRock. And he said, you can buy a senator for just 10K. That's right. That's how cheap our senators are. They would sell out their country for just ten thousand dollars you think if they would sell out the country they'd at least do it for maybe you know a hundred thousand a million but no that's how desperate and greedy they are they'll do it for just ten thousand dollars now there are a few republicans calling for joe biden's impeachment like taylor green 
but uh, unfortunately, it's not gaining much traction. So again, people, like I said, I think it's over for Joe Biden. I think he's got no chance of winning in 2024. I think the establishment knows that, the mainstream media knows that, and they're desperately trying to bring him down. And I think someone's going to come in and fill his shoes very, very soon to get ready for the 2024 campaign. And who do you think will come in and fill his shoes? Will it be Camilla Harris? Will it be Gavin Newsom? Will it be Michelle Obama? Let me know down below. Now, for my law viewers and subscribers to watching, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.